Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2020 Auto Crusade Car Show in Cummings, Georgia, and I came across a 1957 Chevrolet pickup truck I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. What about that? Sitting there all patina and sweaty like they just pulled it out of a field somewhere. Scotty D, all you do is shoot high-end cars. Grade 8, Riddler. Grand National Roadster Show type of cars. No, I shoot cool, my friends. That's what I shoot. And this pickup truck is very cool. I first ran into it at a car show down in Hoax Bluff, Alabama, that Big Oaks Garage puts on with City Fest. Very nice event. If you've not been to it, make sure you get out to it. I wasn't able to shoot it there, but at the 2020 Auto Crusade Car Show, voila, there it was. And I took the opportunity. I love this style. I like to finish stuff too. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about spending the money. Don't you know? Don't misunderstand me. I I appreciate all that. But just one you can throw the keys in with no worries, and nobody has any idea what you even have. To me, is very cool too. If I had a lot of money, I'd have one just like this. Nobody knows. People think you'll be lucky. Look at the door panels. You know, it's the details. It's what they finished and what they didn't finish is what makes it really cool. Yeah, people think, you know, you'd be lucky to make it to the grocery store and back. And the truth is, you can go to California if you want. The materials they chose works for the era truck, you know. Man, I just, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm cool as cool. That's what I'm all about. I don't know nothing but cool, and the only thing I'm trying to show people is what is cool. And to me, this style of build is very, very cool. And it's not like, you know, yeah, you save the money on finishing, but you got to be lucky enough to find one that's in good enough condition you can even do this to, you know? Because, I mean, it's a chassis truck and all that. Everything, suspension, wheels. I didn't get wheel size. Sorry, guys, I know you always like that, but I didn't get wheel size. And I think they did. I think they did just what they needed to do on the interior. You know, to me, it's ex exactly. If I had one, just like if I had, like I said, if I had money, you would see me driving around in one of these. Honking the horn and waving. Got your girl by your side, right? I'm just a fan. And it had a little uh, fender bender, and that was almost a catastrophe because, you know, I mean, it's natural patina. They were able to hammer it out. You can't even tell. It looks like it was there all the time. LS7 under a very nicely finished engine compartment. Pools Mill Rods. That's who built it. I'll give a shout out to that boy. I think he's, uh, does a good job. I dig this style of build and I think it's cool and I'm glad I got the opportunity to bring it to y'all. Like I said, it's got American racing wheels on it, but I didn't get a size. I apologize for that. I shot some clips, but you really can't read them. But if you stick around at the end, I'll put them in the enter for you just so you can try if that's what you'd like to do. So there you go from the 2020 Auto Crusade Card Show in Cumming, Georgia. A 1957 Chevrolet 3100 Patina Rod Pickup Truck. How cool is that? Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.